Hey y'all, welcome back to Beauty Pushing the Beast. I'm the beauty who's pushing this beast. Um, I look how I mess today. Uh, don't pay no attention to it. It is what it is. Um, today is Labor Day and uh, I officially have been in Big Mama for a month. Yes, a whole month. I got Big Mama August the third and today is like what i don't know y'all august 5th somewhere in there whatever uh but i appreciate all of the support and all the love y'all sent to me on um my last video my little snippet my little quick update but i decided to go ahead and do my truck tour i was trying to wait until i got um big mama set up how i wanted her set up uh, outside and inside because right now she is still playing she is still completely playing however um in the inside i have not put anything in there yet uh so that'll be another separate tour um but i am getting her detailed today so today is the first time that she's getting a bath and y'all it's so much needed she is dirty she is very dirty um if y'all know anything about my yard where i work at it's completely dusty it's completely dirty it's just horrible it's hard to keep anything clean however we um we are currently parking in a different location so hopefully uh that helps with trying to keep big mama clean so what i decided to do i'm not gonna show y'all the inside just yet because of the fact that it's not really dirty on the inside but i'm gonna show y'all a before of how dirty she is right now my detailer is on his way he gonna come do his thing and then i'm gonna get into the official truck tour so as y'all can see she dirty dirty y'all she she she's dirty I see that yes she's dirty all up top she's dirty 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 your girl been running your girl been working your girl been out here in these streets so um that's my pump i am gonna do a more detailed uh a more detailed tour once i um once he comes and cleans it and then i will get into the details like i said inside isn't really really dirty but as y'all can see i just wanted to show y'all the difference i just wiped this it gets so dusty so being that it gets so dusty y'all can see the difference i just keep this little towel right here to kind of prevent spreading all of the dust so yeah he's on his way right now and once he's done i will do an official tour <laughs> freaking clean as y'all can see we're gonna go ahead and start with the outside um for those that don't know this is a 2023 peterbilt 389 it's brand new i ordered it um when i took delivery of it it literally had 15 miles on it so uh 
This is my truck. This is the front. Um, he actually is coming back because of stuff that he was uh, polishing everything up with. He ran out. So he's going to come back for that and to finish my wheels. But this is the front. Some of y'all be thinking that I purchased the older truck. For those who aren't familiar with Peterbilt's, one way that you can tell is by the headlights. So you see my headlights, I have the LED headlights. The older trucks have square headlights. They have like block style headlights. So that's one way you can tell. Um, I have four horns up here and I freaking love my horns. My horns sound so smooth, so dope every time like I blow them, they just dope. Uh, right here, and right here are two spotlights they already came installed on my truck um so yeah uh my my overhead lights as well as my headlights i'm gonna be swapping those out um and changing those to the smoke lights one thing that's good about my truck is that you're gonna see this a lot on my truck on the outside of it it is pre-wired for lights and for whatever else i'm gonna add to it so um that's something that you will notice my stacks uh these aren't necessarily the stacks that i want but i actually do love them um these are the ones i had to go with uh from the dealer this is what you know the option was from the dealer uh let me see my mirrors the only thing i don't like about these mirrors is that you can only adjust them from left to right you cannot tilt them you can't do none of that that's that's your only options or whatever so this is the driver's side we can start on the driver's side uh compared to pete obviously my side box is a little smaller but it's okay my dev tank, which I believe holds 20 gallons. I could be wrong, but I think it's a 20 gallon dev tank. Both of my fuel tanks are 100 gallons a piece. Um, this right here is my toolbox. Uh, I would open it, but y'all ain't nothing in there except for um, my fittings. This is the back of my truck. And as you can see, I have two more spotlights. I have one right here and I have one right there. And then I have these four lights down at the bottom. Uh, this is my hose rack, which was added. Y'all, these lines, I know it's, they're a mess. They're a mess. Um, I am getting a different fitting to be able to run my airlines because I don't like how I have to hang them right now. This little contraption isn't the best. I'll be honest with that. Um, I have quarter fenders, which I actually love these quarter fenders. Um, on my, on Pete, I had the, what are they? The half fenders. I hated them. It made it a lot harder to back under chassis and trailers. So I actually like these quarter fenders. I am also happy that I have finally got back to my single tires and gotten away from those freaking super singles. I hate it. Uh, this is the back. I'm going to be adding a plate right here. And I'm also going to be swapping out these um, mud flaps. But this is what uh, they came with. So that is a back view of my truck. Um, I had disc brakes all around. So that's another good thing. I love those disc brakes. Uh, some of y'all might notice I do have my fifth wheel slid all the way back. Well... Yeah, it's pretty much all the way back. It's between these two axles, and I find that it works better for me having it right there. This is my pump. Went with the Hydrochem. Um, I have not used it so far, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, this is my pump. The compressor, everything right here. Brand new, brand spanking new. One thing that I didn't notice about my airlines on my other truck, they just had the valves. For you to connect the hoses but on this truck as you can see they are already connected all i have to do is turn turn it on basically so uh we also have the my marker lights right here um and yeah this is the outside body of my truck i'm gonna go ahead and open the hood so y'all can see underneath I'm able 
to open my hood and this is how i open it because i actually cannot reach my hood from the front so i just pull up on this little lever and kind of open it to begin with Ooh. and there we have it um it's easy for me to open it like that versus trying to open it from the front because i'm too short so again like i said y'all will see a lot of these a lot of extra wires pre-wired for different things this is my motor cummins x15 i have a packard transmission um my horsepower i don't know if y'all can see the plate out there but i'm too short the horsepower isn't as powerful as some but hey it'll work for me and for what i'm doing it's 500 uh this is something cool that um a few people who I know who recently purchased uh, Peterbilt's, they actually don't have this on their truck, but I have it. This is a lube system. <laughs> so you can um, press this and it'll lube your clutch, lube everything. You still have to kind of get up here, up under here and physically check because they told me that over time it's possible you know if your line gets a hole in it or whatever gets a hole in it you know you can it'll be leaking and you wouldn't even know it and you think you're lubing it and you're not because it's running all out but anyway that is what that looks like in the hood let me back up so y'all could really get a good it's so pretty i know it's beautiful i'm gonna walk over to the other side And I'm not a huge fan of washing under my hood. I could have let them wash this, but for me, it's just not necessarily necessarily that big of a deal. So I really don't want to um, do that. Maybe a year or two from now or something like that, I will. But I just feel like it's so much electrical stuff up under here that I just, you know, nah, I'm good. I'm straight. Um, Now, more pre-wires. If y'all can see that wire down there is actually hanging and you can probably see it from this side wires hanging because i can actually put a suspension bumper on here or i can put lights on my bumper whatever i want to do with them it's already um pre-wired for me to do so and they already have them wired to the switches for me to do so so yeah that is up under the hood let's go inside so oh y'all it smells so good again don't pay attention to the towel that towel helps me out so this is the inside and it's all clean y'all don't mind my trash can i was supposed to take it out and i didn't but we're gonna start her up storage space right here as I did be, obviously because of my stick but what I do have it works um I do not like this mount okay so this is the mount that came out of my old truck and it worked great in my old truck but I'm gonna have to get a mount that can go right here and not up here because I'm way too short and I can't fit um these are my spotlights I have one right there and the other one is right there. The switch for those lights is right here to turn those lights on. 
Um, I am already pre-wired for my CV, which I should be getting it within the next couple of weeks. Uh, got your visors. As you can see, I still got the stickers and paper and stuff on everything, but my visor. Um, these boxes are pretty neat. You just press it, pull it out, open storage space. I have a lot of lights up here. So I have these lights. I also have this light, those lights. And I'm thinking about changing out the bulbs for those lights. Um, you know, probably this one at least, changing them to like a pink light or something like that. But anyway, this is my little storage, whatever you want to call it. Um, I keep my pens and everything down here. Flashlight, sanitizer, water, and whatever I'm drinking. I do not have the uh flip out armrest i wish i did because it's a little tight like a little tight but anyways let's head to the back i'm gonna take my shoes off because as y'all can see they did an awesome job in here um and that stuff up there is just my camera my my pass and all of that stuff my pre-pass but this is the front part of my cab one thing i did notice is about these these are different than my other one my other one this little part was attached to the wall and, and it locked better i kind of don't like these because all it does is take a little movement and it's gonna unlock this is for my um little air holes i haven't put it in here yet haven't connected it yet but i will let's head to the back y'all it it's hot back here it's hot back here oh it's really hot hold on let me turn the light light where are the Let's turn off some air. Y'all bear with me. This is hot. Boop. Um. Okay, so we got the air going back here. Hold up. Okay, so now um, this is the back part of my sleeper. I don't like that it's not as bright back here as my other one. Um, my other truck, I just felt like it was brighter. It's not as, my bad, I got a phone call. But anyways, um, like I was saying, the lights back here aren't as bright as in Pete, but I guess they do the job. Um, this is my bed. The bed is actually bigger than in Pete. All of this just right here, none of this is staying here. This is just temporary. I have comforters that I have stuff that I'm putting in here. This little contraption is supposed to be like the seat belt for the bed, but I got it tucked away because I don't need it. Um, we got storage space up here. Oh, ain't nothing up there but some crackers. Um, and we have all of these compartments up here for storage. This is where I'll be putting my microwave. This is just another little compartment that I just got some stuff up here right now that I need to put away. Yes, I need to put it away. Um, one of my coworkers did show me how he mounted his TV. When I do get ready to put my TV in, I will make a video on that. But basically, this is where my TV is going. This, I'm going to get a three drawer compartment to better organize this. That's nothing but a duffel bag. These are like little file cabinets, I guess you could say. Um, over here is cigarette lighters. Oh, I forgot. I don't even know what that is, but anyway, cigarette lighters, cup holders, and other little compartments or whatever. Then from this view, we have another cabinet that's the same as the other one, except for it has a bar to hang clothes up. My refrigerator is up here. Let's open it. It's not on because I haven't been using it did think that this was cool got a mirror up there and double lights that is the main light um more storage another compartment for storage this that i have right here y'all is my turbo fan it's actually sitting up there but um when i stop my truck i can basically mount that turbo fan right there and i will be cool it will be blowing directly on me this little area right here is the air controls, radio, cigarette lighters, vents, and you know, the basic. It's funny to me that they still put ashtrays in these trucks because that is an ashtray. 
more lights we got double lights on this side and so you can kind of see how much space i have in here it's a decent amount of space for me i do feel like the my other 579 sleeper was bigger but hey this works for me it's big enough for me um it's dark down here but this is all open space down here all open space for storage I have my little file bin and I also have a bin where I keep all of my Lysol cleaning products and all of that stuff in that bin up under there. So, this is Big Mama, the before. Like I said, this is not how my truck is going to stay. It's pretty basic right now. I'll do an updated truck tour once I get it how I want it and I decorate it and I get everything in here how it's supposed to be. But, if y'all have any questions. I will get back with y'all on them or if I didn't show y'all something that y'all wanted to see that y'all have not seen y'all just let me know but as always it's your girl beauty pushing the beast I'm the beauty and I'm pushing this beast